This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Brooke Schaefer. The FDA is expected to give final approval to a coronavirus vaccine. And once that vaccine is given that final approval, healthcare workers in South Florida will likely be given the vaccine next week. About half of the staff at Jackson Memorial Hospital said they will take the vaccine, but 35% said they won't be getting the shot in the first round. The search is on for a shooter who opened fire on a rapper driving on the Julia Tuttle Causeway. Haitian American rapper Zoe Dallas was driving a Mercedes early yesterday morning when police said someone in a silver SUV pulled up and started shooting at him. Dallas, whose real name is Elvis Millard, was hit several times in the leg, but a woman in the passenger seat was not hurt. A gold coin dropped in a Salvation Army kettle turned out to be fake, and now volunteers collecting donations are wondering why. Earlier this week, volunteers in Miami Lakes were grateful for the donation, which they thought was valued at more than $1,800. But after some closer examination, the word copy was found stamped on the coin. The Salvation Army predicts its annual holiday season fundraising will total 50% less than what they took in last year. That, of course, not good news with more people in need now than ever. Looking great, man. A very special thank you from one first responder to several others. Delray Beach Fire Chief Keith Tomey suffered a medical emergency while off duty back in October. It was members of the Coral Springs Parkland Fire Department who did what they do best. They were right there to get him the help he needed. The chief has recovered and says he's grateful for the department's quick response and their care. Now, CBS 4 weather. Finally, Friday, welcome to the weekend and not as cold this morning, but still cool. We did wake up to lows in the upper 50s and low 60s, whereas yesterday we woke up to the 40s. So temperatures are beginning to climb and will be warmer as we head throughout the day. Wow, a gorgeous start to the day with a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures now in the low 60s, pretty much all across South Florida. We're dry for now with a few more clouds around and you'll notice that throughout the day today, but there could be a few sprinkles as we head into the afternoon with highs in the upper 70s. So It'll be pleasant and then as we head into your Saturday it'll turn breezier with highs around 80 degrees a few showers Sunday with 82 through Monday we cold fronts have to move in next week. Well that's the news for now you can always find us on cbsmiami.com and tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.